Here's today's In Touch Devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 18 of Matthew chapter 1. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man and not wanting to disgrace her, planned to send her away secretly. But when he had considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child who has been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins." Now all this took place to fulfill what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which translated means God with us. And Joseph awoke from his sleep, and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took Mary as his wife, but kept her a virgin until she gave birth to a son, and he called his name Jesus. Throughout human history, heaven was God's dwelling place, and except for a few personal encounters, as with Abraham, Hagar, and Jacob, he seemed far away to most people. Then the Lord came to the Israelites in a pillar of cloud and fire, and later in the tabernacle and temple. But in time, he would do something new and even more remarkable. He would come to earth and live as a man. Before this God-man was even born, he was given two names. The first one, Emmanuel, tells us who he is, God with us. This long-awaited Messiah took on human flesh, walked among men, and suffered the weaknesses of humanity. Yet he also displayed the power of Almighty God as he healed the sick, cast out demons, calmed the sea, and raised the dead. The other name he was given, Jesus, means the Lord is salvation. This is what he came to do and why he had to become Emmanuel, to save us from sin. Since the Heavenly Father is immortal, he sent his Son to take on a human body and offer himself as a substitutionary sacrifice for your sins and mine. What do these two names of Christ mean for you today? Jesus is here. And if you trust in Him to be who the Bible says He is, no sinful habit, painful past, or present struggle is too difficult for Him to overcome.